Hey, how you doing today? Um, got some good news for me. Um, I was actually uh, invited to uh, do a fall bear hunt this year, uh, 2019. Uh, I've never bear hunted before. Um, you know, the reason I've never bear hunted before is I've uh, tried bear a long time ago, and it must have been somebody who didn't, you know, dress it right or something because it was so greasy. You know, the taste would stay to the roof of your mouth, and I just didn't want to have it, and I would had no interest in shooting something that was going to taste like that. So I never did go bear hunting. But in the recent past five years or so, my brother has shot in a few, and I've tried it again, and never had any any problem with the way it tasted. It tasted it, you know, great to me. Never had the greasy taste, and they told me that um, you need to cool that bear down as quickly as possible, get that fur off of that uh, body, so that the fat doesn't sort of seep into the meat. So uh, I'm all I'm all for it. If it tastes like that, it tastes uh, excellent to me. So I'd like to try it. Um, so I got a friend of mine who uh, owns a guide service up in Maine, uh, in Washington County, Hollaback Guide Service. Uh, and I'll put up a uh, a picture of his uh, stuff that he has on Facebook, so you can check it out. Um, he's a great friend of mine, and he offered to have me come up there and uh, take a bear. So uh, I'm gonna probably take. Take uh, take that into consideration and give it a try. Just as long as uh, I can financially get up there and all, um, I'm being on disability, I just don't have a lot of money. So we'll give that a shot. Um, I'm really excited for it. Uh, two rifles that I have I can use for bears: a 308 and a 30-06. I know they're really close uh, ballistics-wise. So uh, if you guys want to put a comment on there and tell me which one you think may be the better one, um, you know. Have, you know, 30-06 you may have a few more bullet weights to choose with but you know the bears are probably 300 maybe you can get a big one for 400 you know there are bigger ones on record in Maine but the average is probably in the two to 300 pound range so I don't know if I, anything more than a 308 would be necessary but I'll take 30-06 whichever but uh, leave me a comment on my comments and uh, let me know what you guys think uh, one's a Weatherby the W the S2 Weatherby and the 30 6 and the Browning X-Bolt and the 308, both great rifles. Uh, so let me know what you think. And also I got another thing I'd like to tell y'all. Um, back in 04, I uh, was the first time I ever did archery and, and um, I never had any luck with it. Uh, I had a bad shoulder back then, my left shoulder. Um, and I did it for one year and I wasn't able to continue. I uh, just aggravated that shoulder too much. Um, but Maine is uh, starting to try and work with some crossbow legislation and uh, I'm paraplegic and now with both my shoulders having to have surgery on them multiple times um, you can uh, apply for a permit that will allow you to hunt during archery which is silly to me crossbow is a bow it's right in the word but they will not allow you as of right now to use a bow a crossbow unless it's during rifle season only which is foolish. Um, if you look at the ballistics, you look on YouTube and see the difference between a short bolt, as they call it, because they don't want to call it an arrow, uh, the distance, even if, if the bolt and the arrow are matched from a compound to a crossbow with the same weight, because of the length of the arrow on a compound bow, it'll shoot, it won't drop as fast. So, I mean, I don't know what they're worried about. They're, they're worried about somebody having the same opportunity as they and uh, shooting a deer, I don't know. But that's how people get when it's hunting. Uh, they get kind of selfish about first come first serve stuff. But anyway, back to the back to the story. I ordered, uh, did a lot of research actually first. A bunch of crossbows. I looking at the compound ones, and I'm looking at uh, many of the other ones. And uh, I decided um, after seeing multiple videos and a lot of people praising uh, this particular bow, I ordered actually a, an Excalibur, uh, and it just came in today. Here it is, Excalibur. So I'm kind of excited to put that together and maybe uh, take a few shots sometime. But uh, the only thing with the Excalibur is it is a it's not a compound bow, uh, so there's a lot more draw weight to, um, to cock it back, and it does come with a a draw you know with the cocking string that you put on yourself to pull it back. And I'm not sure being disabled if I'm gonna be able to do that because they always show people standing up to uh, cock the bow. So I'm gonna see if I can just put it in my foot while I'm sitting down and cock it, if that's not feasible. 
then there is a cranking aid you can order. That's why I ordered it way ahead of season so I can pace myself and get these things when I can afford them. And uh, I'll give it a shot. And uh, I'm excited for that. Um, a little bit warmer weather. I also had to pay attention to my feet. That colder weather during the last few seasons of deer season and rifle, my feet just can't take it. They're, you know, bad circulation and and I don't know if they're as cold as they are when I feel them when I'm taking my shoes off later. So being paraplegic hunting in the cold weather, you just got to pay attention because you can get in big trouble real fast. So uh, that's part of my spiel with that. Well, um, you all let me know about the 30-06-308 uh, part of that. If you can let me you know in a comment what you think would be better for black bear. Um, also, uh, let me know about crossbows. You guys any got an experience with crossbows? Um, again, I didn't get a compound. Uh, multiple reasons. One of the main reasons was uh, they saying if you accidentally hit your string with an arrow or something and it cut it with a compound bow, you're pretty much out of luck. You have to take it back to wherever you got it and have them try and compress the bow to put a new string on, and then they gotta adjust the wheels and the pulleys to try and balance it off and all that. And I didn't want to do that. Um, my luck, something would like that would happen. It's just the way it goes. So I got this recurve uh, crossbow, which uh, seems fairly simple. You can throw another string on there if you want. You just gotta cock it back with a string cocker and replace a string. Uh, it's really easy to take care of. If you go on Excalibur's website, they'll show you, or at least on YouTube, they'll show you multiple, you know, videos on them throwing them out of tree stands and, you know, leaving them cocked back and setting them up for a couple of weeks and then still shooting them, you know, all these things that would destroy most of the other, you know, compound bows. This uh, Excalibur seems to be excellent for that, and, you know, I... I try and get things uh, based on just in case because God knows things happen. So uh, wish me luck on that. Um, I'm gonna, it's kind of excited to put it together and see what it looks like and how it feels in the hand and all that stuff. See just how much that draw, drawing that back is gonna, <laughs> is it gonna happen or not. But uh, again, that's why I ordered it early. Now uh, give me plenty of time if I can have to get a hand crank and a few other things I may need to get. But uh, I appreciate y'all uh, watching my videos, and if you do like what I have, uh, please like and subscribe if you would. Um, just trying to supplement disability income, and this is something I'm giving that a try. Uh, so I appreciate all your help, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Hey everybody, didn't want to leave you in suspense. Um, I uh, got that uh, crossbow all put together, and I just want to show you what it looks like all together. Let me grab it for you. Here it is, it's the Excalibur Matrix 355 three, uh, slash 60, shoots 360 feet per second. It's got an excellent scope on it, um, just took me a little while to assemble it, it's not that bad. It feels excellent in the hands, it's uh, really good quality, I uh, can't wait to shoot it. Um, that draw weight is very, very heavy, let me tell you, <laughs> it is a lot of weight, 250 pounds draw weight so yeah more than likely I'm gonna have to get the, the cranking aid for it that cooks onto the back here and cranks it I'm not gonna destroy myself and they say um, accuracy, accuracy makes a big difference from a caulking aid to doing it by hand even to then doing it with the uh, string aid as well so caulking aid is a good thing to grab uh, really good in the hands fits good it's got these nice rubber grips on the side here and it's got a really nice scope on it so I didn't want to let you guys uh leave you hanging <laughs> when I show you the box. It's an excellent, excellent uh, crossbow and it feels like a really good quality. So uh, this is all it came with. It came with a scope, came with a quiver and three arrows with uh, field tips on them uh, to put all, all together. I just need to uh, actually even this came with these dampeners as well on this one. A lot of them didn't have that. I'm just gonna have to adjust this. It says to be about an eighth of an inch off and it's touching those right now. So I also have to order a, a special little thing that goes on here that you can caulk it to take the pressure off the string. So you can take the string off and you just wrap it a couple of times, put it back on, just shorten it just a hair to uh, get it up off of these. Um, just a little bit of maintenance. So it's like I said, that's why I ordered it way ahead of time. Uh, so if I needed any of these little things, I wouldn't be, you know, without able to do that before uh, the deer season starts. So, yep, yeah, that's again the Matrix. 355, shoots 360 feet per second, should be plenty.
plenty for deer. Excellent, feels excellent quality uh, crossbow. Anybody's looking for one, I would, you know, I would look for one of these. <laughs> Got a good reputation. Also, like to uh, say thank you to a, a guy on YouTube. His, he's got a channel too called Death by Bungie. He helped me a lot, answered all of my questions I could ever ask him in uh, crossbows. He's really got a lot of wealth of information on his site if you're inter, in the, interested in crossbow hunting at all or shooting in, just in general, plinking with crossbows. He's uh, really helpful and I appreciate that. And uh, check his sites out too. He's got a lot of information on that. Well, there it is. Won't keep you in suspense any longer. Take care. If you'd like, like and subscribe, I appreciate it. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Got a couple more videos coming. I want to just show you a few photographs and uh, an advertisement for uh, Paula Back Guide Service up in um, a Maine that uh, offered me a free bear hunt. So I just wanted to show you that stuff. Uh, I really appreciate him offering it. And uh, the owners of Billy Derzhevsky. Uh, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time, um, and uh, he's he's invited me up there many times. I just haven't been able to get up there, but uh, I think now that I maybe I'll have a little bit of extra time in the fall here, and I may give it a shot. So uh, again, I appreciate Bill offering that to me, and uh, I'll show you. Here's a few photographs of his site, and uh, you guys, any anybody interested in bear hunting in Maine, check him out.